They inked my finger and pressed it to the paper. They can use the print to identify me later. Of course, by identify, I mean attach a name and a number to this body, this living from the inside, dying from the outside, slightly heavier than before, much more difficult to adore body. This shell ain't me any more than my two-bedroom houses, but like my house, cosmetics and aesthetics is serious business. Men work out and women make up to impress a society that needs to wake up and shake free from the dangers of making this fake me. If I hide the real me, it's likely that he'll be at best absentee or at worst deportee choosing to leave because he couldn't live free and in hiding myself in increasing degree I can lose myself, I can go missing. Me. Now I'll protect my identity by releasing it fully. He who is joined with the Lord is one spirit with him. The universe maker is dwelling within true beauty and honor hidden under the skin. I remember each morning and constantly grin. My neighbors think I'm out of touch. I hear them say I smile too much. But behind this grin is a flame of fire. God's presence inside that my faith has acquired. So yeah, I hope that you might admire my outward appearance or my stylish attire. But if I may inquire, does God have your desire? Pardon the question, I know I'm supposed to be telling you about my identity, right? But it's funny. This is the power of the gospel. This is what the love of Jesus can do. I'm not about me. I'm all about you.